Okay, quick video on setup. Uh, basically, I've got all the default settings now. Here we are on Fort Denord. And I'm um, going to go escape, jump into settings. You can set up the video. really depends on how you want to use the video. Audio. I'm going to bring the volume down a bit so it's not blasting in my ears while I'm recording this video. Those of us who play video games with no audio, but that's not the case here. So I like to go into gameplay and then set combat cues on. And I'm going to set custom colors because I really want to dial up what happens with the enemy color. So if you test that, this is like the red poop, the red stuff you shouldn't step in. I like to crank that up and you might want to make it, you know, something more bearish. And then test that and you can see i'm not gonna miss that i'm gonna not step in that actually last night um everything was default settings and i was stepping in a lot of stuff the friendly uh really depends on your choice um that's probably enough i really want to make sure that the enemy fire steps out so i'm going to turn double tap to dodge i really don't like that because then you accidentally double tap and you fall off a cliff and um, ground targeting range lock off uh, quick cast i like this on so things like um, with your bows hail uh, anything like that you're not going to have to click the item then click where and then uh, continue along it just it goes off as soon as you hit the uh, trigger on your keyboard if you click on the item skill and it's just going to go off based on where you're looking at so that's the idea Consolidate loot I want on, auto loot I want on. I don't want to auto loot stolen items. I probably want to prevent myself from stealing stuff just in case so I don't get in trouble with the guards. Unless I'm playing on my thief, stealing all the things, and then I'm going to turn that back off. But by default, I leave it um, the prevention on. And then all of this, I leave the same. Okay, you might want to turn the tutorials off. So I'll turn that off because I played a lot of games. A lot of gameplay in this camera. I generally don't change anything here. Nameplates, you're going to want this on, and I'll show you why. So let's go over, and then there's this guy. His name's Unarbel, but what is he? I mean, he's an enchanter. We can see that there. But if I put the nameplates on, settings, nameplates, let's turn those on. Now it lets me know there's a nameplate above him saying this is an enchanter. Okay, and uh, as you're running around and seeing different characters, you can see who they are and what they do. Ah, I'm stuck. And then so she's the grocer. Good. So let's go back to the settings. That was nameplates. I leave everything the same. You can go crazy with more details here. Uh, social, you know, general text size on your chat. Um, turn the profanity filter off if you think that's fine. Um, and that's about all I do there. Combat, uh, I definitely recommend putting this always showing. And the attribute bar is always showing. So your ability bars is your abilities that you're firing off. Uh, and the back bar as well. I like to show number of percent of my resource numbers. Uh, combat tips, uh, sure, I'll leave those. The ultimate number, I do like to see. Um, and then there's some other settings you can look at. I really don't show this. And I'm probably going to put some plugins, add-ons for these other ones. And that's about it. You can go into add-ons and you can start playing around with the settings of your add-ons, but I'm not going to mess around with that. If you go into the add-ons menu here, um, that was what we looked at the other time with which add-ons are being loaded. I'm actually going to switch back to loading everything. I'm not running dungeons right now. And that's about it for settings that I do change. Oh, there's one more thing. Let me show you with the um, dodge roll. So if you noticed in controls and oops, in settings, in gameplay, we remove double patch to dodge. So that means I can no longer do that double click, a double A or double D or double S or A to dodge. So I need to bind that to something. I'm gonna bind that in my controls. I reset the controls all the default. Um, I'm going to click in the roll dodge. And then what I'm going to do is I'm not going to bind it to left click. I'm going to bind it to scroll up on my mouse. 
And it's already the primary bind for a zoom camera, but oh well, I'll have to rebind that. Um, I'll check that in later. You can find that. But now you'll notice if I just roll forward, well, I roll backwards, but I don't really have control on what my dodge is now. But it will dodge in the direction I'm moving. Okay. So if I'm going to the left, move my scroll wheel, oh, I'm out of stamina. You'll also notice when you do a roll dodge, your boots will light up green. See the little green stuff there? If I'm doing a sidestep and mouse roll up, sidestep dodge. So whichever way I'm moving using my a, uh, WSD, WASD, however you want to call it. And that fixes my dodging. I'm going to have to rebind my zoom in, zoom out. Because now I can't zoom in and zoom out with the mouse wheel. But I'll probably rebind that to control. And uh, that's about it for settings. Thank you for watching the video. If you've got any suggestions for other videos or comments, go ahead and drop them in the comments below.